Well, guys, I think it's about time I've told you about the time when I lost my ex-wife in a horrific train accident. You see, she was a huge football fan, and I had gotten her season passes to the St. Louis Rams. See, this was a long time ago. Still the St. Louis Rams. And, uh, well, she got to go in the locker room after the big game. And she never came back. So I packed up my two little girls. I threw a dart at the board. And I let God lead the way. And the Lord led me. Right here. To Cuntsville, USA. A town who currently now has a 99% population of women. So what did I do? The smartest thing I could think of. I started a new store. A period store, if you will. A store I like to call Blood Boon. We're open every month, all month, for that special time of the month. Come on down to Blood Moon, get everything you need. That's right, guys. I wanted to be a real content creator. I want to be a real YouTuber, a real streamer, so I'm playing a supermarket simulator. That's right. I got Supermarket Simulator Manager on PlayStation 5 for $6 on sale. And boy, golly, let me tell you, I know why it was $6. It's so bad. But gosh darn it, there is definitely something addicting to running and managing a shop. So, I noticed all the character models were female, and so I went with the old, let's start a period shop. Candy, coffee, ice cream, toilet paper, all the things I could think of and afford to uh, supply women with on their special times of the month. Because I care, you know? I'm a feminist like that. And so, I thought, Blood Moon, what a great store to start in a town full of only women. No, I, I just got this game because it was uh, cheap and I'm always watching real, real gamers play these games and stream these games and I thought it was cool. Although right now, secretly, this shop is just a shop that I'm using to get my real dream going, which is a, a trading card game shop. Yeah, because all the real YouTubers are playing the trading card game simulator right now. And I got to be honest, that looks way better than this. So uh, there's a couple of versions of that coming on PlayStation 5. And I'm sure they will go, they're going to be just as janky and shitty as this. In fact, I'm almost convinced that these games are somehow malware. I think they're stealing our information when you buy this game and play it. Or any of these like weird foreign cheap games that just pop up all of a sudden. These clone games. That's why I usually don't buy them. But like, you know, it seems like it'd be pretty easy to pull off if you were the right kind of shady person. Although at the end of the day, either way, you put out a pretty lackluster basic ass game. It was on sale for $6, which means you were charging more than $6 for it. And uh, if that's not a crime already, I don't know what is. But here I am. I, I bought it and I'm playing it. And uh, it's pretty bad. Crashes a lot. And it doesn't have all of the uh, minutia that some of the other games like this have. Like you literally just press the button to check out. You don't have to deal with cash or change or any of that or credit cards. You just press the button. Now... Like I say in some of my other videos of early games, such as like Split Second on VR, which is a totally different ball game, because that game's leagues ahead of something like this. But like, I get it, you know, small companies, new new des developers, like maybe you're like just a couple of people or one person. I get it, and I assume there's probably like planned updates. But at the same time, I bought some shovelware, guys, and. Uh, I thought it would be funny to make, like, a period store and make content on it, but then I played the game for a while, and I was like, oh, this game's garbage. I can't do it. So, uh, you're going to have to wait, because really I want to play that TCG 
card trading game, but I don't do stuff on PC, so I have to wait for a clone to show up on the PlayStation, and then I will buy that and play it. In the meantime, I actually still have another game that's similar in the in in the sense that they they got sued by Nintendo for the same shit. Uh, Pal World. I keep putting that off, man. I have that Pal World game, but here's my real fear. It's one of those games that if I play it, I'm going to like want to dive in and play it a lot. And since I have so much other shit on my plate, it's like, you know, self-admittedly, like I put that shit on my own plate. But there's a lot of it. And the more I put on it, the harder it is to finish it. So uh, with Rust and with my VR and all that, it's hard to add something and then I add something anyway and then I add two things and then here we are I'm running a really shitty period store and uh, trying to make something out of it but uh, I just couldn't do it guys I upgraded to the premium Arabica coffee was a, was a big hit with the period ladies and my wife is going to kill me when she sees this oh my god good thing she's at work right now so she won't watch me making this one usually she likes to watch my videos so that's bad news for me although i know that so hi babe i love you anyway um it's my period store coffee ice cream toiletries uh eventually i bumped it up to shampoo frozen pizza uh some various knickknacks and mystery novels um i really really kick up the the gears on uh i don't know uh what you call that when you like focus on one niche as a store but uh i am the the <laughs> i'm the place you go when you have your period period all right anyway i just thought it was a funny idea and here I am still telling you why I think it's a funny idea. Oh, look, gummies. I stacked up on gummies because that's what my wife loves. She loves to eat gummy worms and gummy bears. And, oh, I also got spicy chips. I got a whole rack of spicy chips eventually going. Where's that? There, this whole wall. It's all snacks. It's my snack wall. It's the first thing you hit when you go in. Then you got your shampoos, your toiletries. Then you got some bread just in case. And then your coffee. It's mystery novels, and then on the other side, I got some frozen shit. It's, you know, it's an okay setup. I wish the game was more dynamic. I wish the game was, like, had a little more going on. There are some other versions of it, but I'm not spending any more money. I only got this one because it was the cheapest one, and it was literally on sale for $6, which means that the others are, like, 13 or more. I don't know. But, anyway, I'm waiting for that trading card game to pop up and I'm gonna do some playing on that like I said I keep adding shit to my plate but oh well I like a shitty plate you know in the meantime I've got of course my other videos and other content coming so you'll see a lot more Astro Hunters VR oh my god I got recognized in Astro Hunters the other day guys I've never been recognized in a game lobby somebody was like holy shit hang on is that do you have a YouTube channel and I was like oh and then you know whatever you'll see i may I'll, I'll i'll i may make a video about it not about it but it might be in the video of that astro hunters raid whenever i make that video is what i'm trying to say anyway as always uh if you like the rust stuff and you want to play rust or you've never played rust and you're interested i have a chill rust server i've got 10 spots that are super open right now and uh, if you're interested in that, go watch the Rust playlist. Look for the video called Breaking News. It has the instructions on what to do and where to put your name so that you can get yourself onto that island with us. And you can be chill too. Alright. What else is going on? Nothing really, I guess. I can't think of anything else. Uh, keep watching videos. Like, subscribe, comment. Do all the things. Uh, tell your mom. And uh, like always, I love you guys. Bye.
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> hey, uh, your mom wants you to subscribe if you could, please. Thank you.